I am in my new room. That's part of the fun, isn't it? It is absolute chaos in here. We're moving apartment. We're moving to a new apartment in London. I am left with the tedious task of packing up my room right now. And I have about 20 minutes for I have to leave to go to Manchester. Make it make sense. This home will always hold a special place in my heart, given that it was my first place in London. We are moving to our new London apartment. Not without a sprinkle of chaos, of course. Left everything last minute, but just had to pack up all my stuff, leave it downstairs so that I could grab it when I come back from Manchester. But here's a top tip from a serial mover. Fold your clothes and just pack them on the hangers. I'm telling you guys, it works. I mean, it works better than this suitcase anyway. I literally have to leave right now. Oh my God. My new room. Wow, I'm actually so happy. The room badly needs some furniture, but your girl cannot afford furniture right now. So we do have a pile of jackets on the floor when I was putting up the wardrobe here. It fell. It fell as I was putting in some of my clothes. So I had to take some out. Gym clothes are still in my suitcase underneath the bed. We're doing what we need to do. We're here, we're ready to live in this new apartment. When I was setting up my stuff last night, I was a little bit emo. I was a little bit in my feels. I felt like I would really like if I had someone here with me. My mom, basically, I was looking for her mom. Now that it's a new day and I'm looking at this space, I am so happy, I'm so happy. But I'm actually just getting ready because I am meeting my friend Gabby and Stephen. We are going to a restaurant that I've actually shown on the vlogs before. It's called Zephyr and it's in Notting Hill and it's a Greek restaurant. Gabby saw it on my video and said she wanted to go. So you could say she was influenced. But it is a great choice. Actually, probably one of my favorite restaurants. I've, I feel like I have a list of favorite restaurants now, to be honest. I've been enjoying kind of exploring the neighborhood. This is a completely different area than where I lived before for the past three months. But you know what's the one constant between the two houses? There's a Gales around the corner. Ka-ching! The house just worked out. It worked out really well. So I don't have an active Facebook account, but I do have a Facebook account. An account that only has one friend. So that just shows you how inactive it is. But Facebook is how I found accommodation in New York. So I wanted to see if there is a similar situation for the housing in London. And there is. So the Facebook group that I joined is called Girls Who Rent or Gals Who Rent, I think. And every day there's like four or five new updates and it gives like the details and details of the girls and then you message them a little detail of yourself. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm 27. I like to read books. and I like to try new food places kind of a spiel and you may then get asked to go for a viewing. So the first house I liked, I messaged and I got asked to come for a viewing and two days later accepted for the house. So it was all really smooth and easy, which is great because as you know, the job hunt, not as easy for me. So I'm a little bit obsessed, a little bit in awe. Let me show you the room. I mean, it's gonna be pretty quick. I have barely anything in here. Ah, that is so satisfying. So I had you stuck up on the window there. And this is the view. Isn't it gorgeous? Having the three windows is actually so nice in the mornings, as you can only imagine. Um, this 
is my pile of jackets, which I haven't figured out what to do yet because hopefully soon enough it's going to be spring weather and I won't even need these. I might be able to put them underneath the bed in the suitcase. This desk came with the house, but like, look how much space there is. So much more space than my last room. I'm trying to think about what I do, but I think pulling this bed closer to the door, putting a little nightstand here, and then maybe putting like a chest of drawers over here, maybe like a vanity here. I'd say it'll take me weeks to get all that sorted now, to be honest. And actually, I have to show you something. In my last video, I was showing you an illustration I was doing for my boyfriend's sister's 30th birthday. That turned out really well. I will insert a picture here. Just have one picture of print. I forgot to take some, to be honest, when I was up in Manchester. I'm running on that vein of drawing a gift or like a thank you gift or a birthday gift, I have actually drawn a little outline of my previous house that I was living in for the past three months. Hold on. I'm obviously gone from the apartment, so I didn't get it all sorted to have it like as a goodbye present, but I have, I left something behind, shocker. So I'm gonna be going back to the old house soon and I wanna be able to give this when I'm there. So on the way to dinner this evening, I am gonna to go to a printing studio. So I'm doing all these as little gifts, but if you guys do want me to do any illustrations for you, whether it's thank you gift, birthday gift, or just something you wanna put on your own wall, let me know. You can just leave a comment down below, I will see it, or you can go onto my website, which I will link below as well, and you can Put a little submission of what you'd like. So this is the house. This is the situation we got going on. It's kind of hard to show. Basically just the outside of the house, but it's really cute. This house actually used to be a bar. I don't know how many years ago, a long time ago, but it has so much character to it. Just take you off the wall to show you the kind of detail we have of the brick. If you look closely, you can see there's little lines there to show little tiles on the bottom. These little flowers that my new housemates left in my room. So cute. I actually can't believe I live in London, like, full time now. Crazy. Perfect, thank you. These are the moments we bask in the blessings, the presence To make a toast for my lessons And marvel at the times when we ain't choose aggression Float on a beat like butterfly What could I say that I leave? ain't said Ten toes down, know the ground painted red And the streets filled with lead I thank God for my bed Look, tell them these notes here give us hope And if you ask the people in the pews, it's the antidote I write my worries in a prayer, then I let it go Got in my vegetables, you know how to break the go I know that nigga sang the song and so down Jericho can't do it, Just that oh Mary God, had a baby in the carriage float Went off the water and light that's the thing alone that made the spirit ignited the sound while the blessings bring it down. I know that if you knew me, you can't come so far. I know I still have fire, but this time you raise the bar. So break my heart, I promise we'll play with you. If you're cool, then I'm down. I'm gonna meet you at your side. You me, but you thought you knew. Don't you try to fool me? Cause you can sell the music. Do you feel bonito? I feel bonito. Good morning. So I don't have a big long length mirror in my new room. Another thing to add to the shopping list. So I've been having to put my phone up to check my outfits to make sure they look semi okay. So might as well do a little outfit check while we're here. Oh, now I have no glasses on. Wait, hold on. These are prescription. Okay, it's a little bit dark, but I have my weekday jeans. This is the style called Row. Little white t-shirt from H&M. A cost jumper, which I shrunk. I shrunk in the dryer, but I actually like how it cuts me here. So it's fine. It worked out. And then I have my little lemon drop dunks that have a little lemon in the corner. Throw on my mango trench and I'm ready to go. Oh, how could I forget? Underneath, I have a very trusty black swimsuit on because today I am actually going for a sauna and cold plunge. You guys know I love a sauna and I'm also here for a cold plunge. So I have a friend here who has found a place that does just that. So I'm gonna meet her there and do it. So I'll let you know what it's like. Hopefully it's good. Imagine if I had a place like that I could just go to if I really wanted to. It's in Hackney, which is a cool area. We're gonna get coffee beforehand. Let's go. Please be warned that this is the entrance to 
the sauna situation so it is the most random random place i've ever been but you know what it was actually so fun elephant in the room <laughs> i did not post on youtube for like nearly five weeks there if you don't follow me on instagram and you just follow me here you may have thought i've decided bye bye youtube no more youtube mm -mm, i'm still here slight update on my end i'm in love i'm employed in the future like future steph has a job i know i'm so excited i'll probably talk about that proper in another video but let me tell you i have so many videos shot like i have been shooting videos the past like month i just haven't had the time to sit down and edit them like i'm busy i'm booked and busy babe no but genuinely obviously getting a new job the focus is all on that right now and um in the evenings the last thing i want to do is go on my laptop i want to sleep actually <laughs> or maybe read so apologies for the delay the longer i left it the more overwhelming the thought of sitting down to footage was i edited together that video today and it's from like six weeks ago so i didn't even know what i was talking about i don't even know her i actually don't even like her to be honest all that to say i am back we're going to get into the groove please hold me accountable youtube makes me so happy editing this video today made me happy even though I did hate myself through the whole thing. That's part of the fun, isn't it? Yes, your girl's employed. Your girl's really happy. I've really been enjoying London. I love my new house. There's a few updates. I'll show you in the next video. But as of right now, we are in the future, but we're gonna go back to the past and the next video will be in between these times, if that makes sense. And if you're new here, sorry for the chaos today. Make sure to subscribe. Anyways, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, TTYL.